Hey y'all, this is Olive Destiny, and in this video, I'll be showing you all my complete relaxer day from start to finish, applying the relaxer, neutralizing, blow drying, deep conditioning, trimming my own ends, just the whole nine. So if you want to see how I make my hair lay and slate on relaxer day, then keep on watching. Hey y'all, I'm about to get to my relax. My arms be looking so girl. I gotta stay out the gym. I just want to quickly show you all my texture. My hair is looking the way it's looking because I am about to get a relaxer. So I don't work with my hair too much as far as trying to brush it up and make it really neat. I just kind of take my hands and do this. That way I don't disturb my hair too much and then whatever won't go into place, I don't use hair brushes to disturb that. So this is the relaxer that I am about to use. Uh, I do use this relaxer, either this one or the Africa's Best relaxer in all of my videos. I have been using it for years, so you can really watch a lot of my older relaxer videos to see that for yourself. But the details about it is the Olive Miracle African Pride relaxer. I did buy this myself. Don't have the receipt, but it's no more than, I think, like $7. This is the relaxer, but I want to go ahead and show you all my hair. That's what I came on here for. No, it's dirty and things like that. Like, I washed it and blow dried it and stuff just to prepare for my relaxer a couple of days ago. So that's my texture. I would say to about here, because I really can kind of straighten my hair without one, but this is probably the amount of new growth that I do have. So yes, that's what it looks like. Not scratching my scalp, just making a part. And like I said, I can kind of straighten my hair. It goes really straight with the blow dryer, but um, to about here, I think, is the amount of new growth that I do have. And this is the back. Yep, I'm gonna show it. No shame. My hair kind of does curl up. I think if I was to grow it out, I actually hesitated. I'm getting it. I'm still hesitating to put it in because I don't know if I want to or not. But so that's that. And it was a really, really curly piece somewhere over here. So yeah, my hair I had just plaited it up. Then I took it down. There. It's dirty too. <sighs> I overcooked my ramen noodles. Okay, so inside of my relaxer, I have the cream relaxer, and I'm using the one in normal strength. It also comes with activator, herbal infusion, as well as the leave-in conditioner. You want to make sure you read your instructions because you're going to add the activator as well as the herbal infusion to this one. You also get your wood stick, your instructions, as well as the glove. So make sure you read your instructions because if I didn't read the instructions, I wouldn't have known that the herbal infusion also goes in with the activator and the cream relaxer. And so you just pretty much want to mix everything up very well together until the consistency is creamy and everything is thoroughly mixed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, after you make a phone call. Mm -hmm. well, I have a cake, but I don't know what I did with it, so just grabbed the towel. I forgot to put on my petroleum jelly this time. You got a go you want? I do like to have it. You wanna go get it? Mm-hmm. Okay. To my mama bathroom to borrow her petroleum jelly. I go in with it everywhere. It's okay to get it on your ears and stuff because it's gonna come out when you wash anyway. Just anywhere where you know you might waste it or whatever the case may be. You just wanna protect those areas. Forgot my tripod, but I am going around my neck a little bit. And yeah, you can kind of put it on your ends if you want to, because it's protecting like a sealant. Since the ends are not going to be relaxed anyway, that way when you run, the relaxer runs over it, it won't get on your ends. But, I mean, teachers are always just something that I do. It's not in the instructions. Well, I think it is in the instructions to actually base, but this ain't basing. I already oiled my scalp heavily a couple of days ago when I washed my hair. I knew that was going to be the last wash before the relax. Anyway, we ready now. Let's go. Keep this camera. Well, I can't really get it good, like good footage because I have to sit still, but I'm going to try my best. Well, this ain't nothing but a burn. Nothing but a burn, man. For your little flowers. Yes, I go from the front to the back. I'm not making four parts, so don't be coming and saying, Well, let me be quiet and remain your father. I'll well, be saying it though. Why your mommy go from the front to the back? Tell her she put make four parts. No. <laughs> Tell your mommy to make four parts. I go from the front to the back. And her part will come out nice. Back to the front? Yeah. Okay, so as my mama said, she is applying my relaxer from the back and just working her way up to the front. 
I do already have relaxed hair, so I'm only touching up my new growth. If you're fresh, getting a fresh relaxer for the very first time, then you relax your entire head. But just read all of your instructions, as we said earlier. Um, and she's just switching camera angles for y'all to be able to see. Or pretty much she's switching the way she's doing it so that y'all can get a good angle. But she's only putting it on my new growth. And she's using a red tail comb to do that, just smoothing it on there. Not really working it through just yet. And uh, make sure if you want to wear gloves and the proper tools and um you know everything like that we're not licensed anything like that this is not a follow along it's just me showing you all my relaxer day in the process also the amount of new growth you have determines how much of the relaxer you will apply so say for instance you have two inches of new growth you're going to apply the relaxer to those two inches if you have only an inch you apply it to that inch and then you just go from there she put my relaxer in she go back through and smooth out the whole thing Smoothing is what gets the hair straight, so like if you just apply it, it won't straighten the hair. Smoothing is straight for her, just putting it on the hair, it's just sitting on there. So after applying the relaxer all over, she's just going to go back through and smooth it out in the same way that she applied it, so from back to front. It's going to go sideways for y'all, since I'm filming so y'all can see. Pulling all the way down just to yeah, just on my new growth. And you want to work fast, you don't want to go slow because you're tired. Yeah. As far as letting it sit, you can read that in your instructions also. Instructions also for your grade of hair. For me personally, I let mine sit anywhere from about 10 to 12 minutes. Just depends. I kind of just watch it. But I let it sit about 10 to 12 minutes, or just depending on when I'm ready to rinse it out. Or if you start burning, because yeah, if you, you start burning out, then rinse it out quickly, <laughs> so you don't have a Tina Turner moment. Yeah. But like I said, that's all in your instructions for my grade of hair. I rinse it out after about right. 10 minutes. It's continuing to smooth all the way through, and then you can just check the time. I got the relaxer, girl. Hey. <laughs> Got about five more minutes. Ooh, girl, what is you saying? If you're relaxing, why are you slaying? Mm. See, that's what the petroleum jelly come in good for. So pretty much while I'm waiting, uh, go ahead and clear the dishes out of the sink and gather up everything that I'm going to need when I begin to rinse this out so that it's a smooth process. So I allow my relaxer to sit for 10 minutes and then we're going to proceed to rinse it out. I'm going to be using the neutralizing shampoo that came with the relaxer as well as the dark and lovely shampoo and conditioner. I will list all of the products down below and I chose to use those two just because they match and I am slowly running out of my own products and I want them to match. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, pretty much I like to rinse out all of the relaxer very 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 well like I rinse it completely out of my hair or at least almost all of it before I even go in with the neutralizing shampoo that way I have all of the relaxer out of my hair and it's not taking me a long time to actually neutralize because I have gotten the relaxer out of my hair prior to doing the neutralizing step and just to make that clear, the neutralizing step pretty much stops the chemical process. So it pretty much stops the, re the relaxer from straightening my hair. And I like to do the neutralizing step at least three times. So I pretty much rinse with warm water and I repeat just to make sure that I did cover all areas of my head. Um, and I just work it in very well. And you can pretty much watch. It is like a color. You can check the color. So as long as it's pink, that means that you still need to wash those areas once the shampoo is white then you're pretty much in the clear and i go ahead and deep condition my hair after that and then i proceed to detangle it i don't really comb through my hair without conditioner in it just because it's a personal preference and my hair is more manageable with conditioner and i can see that the relaxer did take very well to my liking and i'm going to deep condition for about 10 minutes the leave-in treatment but i can lovely the product did come with one but since i used a different shampoo and conditioner i just went ahead and just did this <sighs> Lots and lots since it's just a leave-in. I already washed my comb off with neutralizing shampoo. Just gonna wipe it off on my sister's yeah. turby twisty. Okay, here we go. Gonna part it down the middle. And we're gonna comb it through. I'm so excited right now. I can never have too much leave-in conditioner. Maybe, but whatever. Oh 
can feel it on my back. The fact that I can feel my scalp right now, first of all. Girl, got that relaxer, girl. Hey, thought it looked like it had grown. Look at that. Ooh, passing shoulder length now. Passing shoulder length now. At first, I was keeping my hair at whoops. I didn't know that was on that. It's shoulder length, but I officially had decided like a while back, if you watch all of my videos, that I wasn't going to do that anymore. So I'm letting it grow back out again without cutting it. So yeah, unofficial length check. I ain't to the point where I gotta get on my tiptoes just yet. <laughs> and it did take very well, as you can see. Baby. Edges on flat flat. <laughs> Girl, what are you saying? If your edges ain't slain. Okay, so now I'm going to proceed to straighten my hair. Definitely got to use some of my lot of body because that lot of body gives you a lot of body, okay? <laughs> so I like to add a little lot of body when I'm straightening my hair or pretty much any style that I do to my hair. I always add a little lot of body to it because it helps to set your style and pretty much hold it in place. And I'm going to add some of my silk and sleek straightener polish. <laughs> Finally said it. I didn't say it right in my last video. But yeah, then I'm going to use my uh, Red by Kiss Detangler Blow Dryer and it has pretty much a double layer pick on it. Or a double layer pick. Which gets the hair like super super straight. So if I didn't have this relaxer, my hair would still get like straight enough for me to blow dry it and flat iron it. And I just blow dry my hair all over. It just gives it a lot of body, a lot of movement. Then I'm just going to proceed to flat iron my hair. Got my glasses on girl. <laughs> and I'm using my Chi Air flat irons. They don't have a temperature dial on them because you all always ask me what setting my flat irons is usually on but it doesn't have a temperature dial on this one you just turn it on and use it pretty much and I like to take small sections when I'm straightening my hair I do it about two passes I was switching it between using my Chi Air and then my uh, Bellyasa if I'm saying that correctly flat iron and that one actually does have a temperature dial it was on about 300 uh, degrees so yes I just take small sections use the chasing method do about two passes one really just to straighten it and then that second pass is when I kind of go ahead and bend my ends and that's pretty much just a tedious process starting from the back and working my way to the front and then my hair is pretty much straight so I can straighten my hair pretty quickly when I have a fresh relaxer and real time without me speeding it up this took me about 20 25 minutes I'm not really too satisfied with the way my hair turned out as far as the way it's looking like it's just really blah so what I'm doing, I'm taking really big sections like this. One in just one more time, kind of pulling it. It's slow because I know the combination of the products I put in here is supposed to make my hair really silky, but it's not doing it for whatever reason. So I'm just going back in, doing that, really just combing that through, and that feels much better. Then I'm just going to hold it with this big roller instead of wrapping it since it's a fresh relaxer because it's going to be too straight. For my liking. Normally I go in and just roll the set my hair and wear it like that and then wrap it. But as you all know, my birthday is coming up. Or if you don't know, my birthday is Sunday, July the 17th. And my ID actually expires this year. So I wanted my hair straight. That's why I'm straightening it. Because I know y'all are curious. Because I always say, oh, there's no point in flutter and freshly relaxed hair. But this time... So I get a lot of questions about how I care for my hair after the relaxer. This is my first wash day. One week post. And I'm pretty much just shampooing, conditioning, oiling my scalp, and styling my hair. Okay, so I'm oiling my scalp right now. Whispering because it is late at night. It's much like more flowy than it was the first time. Like it's super light. I'm just using, just using some of my dad's tea tree premium natural hair oil until I go to the store and get some more because I don't have a single thing of oil left. It's much more light. I wanted to really wash it. I mostly washed it just to get it clean so you can see how clean it is despite anything else like it's really light and clean at this point so I just blow dried it because I'm gonna just put my clip ends back in tomorrow and I'll link that video so that you all can see the style that I'm talking about okay so at this point I am finished with my hair um, I'm about to go ahead now and give myself a trim I did put on a white shirt so that for one I can see what I'm doing and if I do decide to record it Y'all can see what I'm doing. So, for the most part, I straightened my hair. I did not put a bend to the back before I trim it up. It's not as silky as it used to be because I put more products in it than what I normally do. I'm trying to get y'all a good shot of that. I really can't even see. Y'all got a better shot than me. Actually, I'm not going to be able to see it well until I'm done. Begin to trim this. 
not a professional at this, so do this at your own free will if you choose to, or if you choose to go and have it done or whatever. It's your hair. Something just popped up really weird. I don't know what they said. Yeah, See it on the shirt. I'm just pouring down diagonally at this point. I'm really not trying to get good frame or anything because I think cutting my hair is more important than trying to get in the frame. I'm just going to let it run for those that may have wanted to see this part. So, yeah. I'm just really parting the sections and then cutting them together. Anything that falls, I just let it fall anyway, and then I'll cut this separately since it's shorter. Because I don't want to cut it to the shorter length, I just want to trim it like that, if that makes sense. You can comb it all together and neaten it up if you like. Like that. Okay, so I do want to let you all know that I'm not a professional as I did say before. I'm not a licensed cosmetologist or anything like that. I just kind of do my own hair and I'd like to just share with you all what I do. So this is not really a follow along or a how to video. It's just me showing what I did do to my hair just to trim my ends. I know I could have probably gone up a little bit more to get it a little more blunt and neat together. But for me, I was just kind of just trimming it. So that's the trim versus the untrimmed section and pretty much I just kind of part my hair straight down and I like to hold all of the hair together and then I just cut straight across using my fingers as a guide so that my hair is really straight when I do trim it and I am trimming off just a little bit uh, if you want to really go in and trim your hair my suggestion would be to just do a little bit at a time there's a time <laughs> a little bit at a time because uh, once you take it off you can't put it back so just take your time if you're going to do this by yourself use mirrors you can get somebody to help you whatever the case may be so as far as the back I kind of just pulled it down to where I saw where I wanted to cut it at and that was pretty much it so quick little trim now since I did only straighten my hair for the trim I'm just gonna loosely curl my ends uh, using a flat iron just to bump the ends a little bit this will help when I wrap it to give it a little more body and it won't be so straight if you don't mind the straight look then you would just wrap up your hair after you straightened it but for me I don't like that look so I'm just kind of bending my hair all over and then I'm just going to wrap it up. To keep the curls, you would just loosely wrap it. If you want them to kind of come out a little bit, then you can just wrap your hair really tight. And you'll see the difference between both of the two closer to the end of this video. Also, I do want to apologize if y'all were like, oh my god, this video is so long. But if you're still watching, then you had no problem with it being this long. So I thank y'all so much for that. And yeah, as far as the way I feather my hair, I kind of just comb it back. Then I just kind of shake it forward like that. So... That's how I wear my hair. Just play around with it to see what suits you best and your look and everything like that. And I wrap my hair overnight. And then I just comb it down in the morning. And you can see that it does still feather. But the feather is more, kind of just more laid and more slayed. But it is still there. Like it's still relevant. Okay. But um, I wasn't as hyped up as I normally am doing these voiceovers. Because it is currently 1.32 in the morning. But yeah, style your hair the way that you like it. Make your edges lay. Make it slay. Make it do what it does. And whatever your hair wants to do, just roll with it and rock it. And I thank y'all so much for watching this video. If y'all want more longer, super, super detailed videos like this, definitely let me know. And yeah, leave your questions and comments down below. And I thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Bye.